The city throbbed around me, a symphony of sirens and laughter. Above, a sliver of moon peeked between skyscrapers. I smiled, remembering my first apartment, a tiny haven where I'd first felt magic crackle in the air. Back then, I was just a girl from a small town, overwhelmed by the city's energy. I felt adrift, lost in the crowd. One evening, wandering through a street fair, I saw her. An old woman, eyes twinkling, sat amidst crystals and herbs. Lost, dearie? She asked, her voice surprisingly strong amidst the urban clamor. I confided in her, my fears and hopes tumbling out. She listened patiently, then smiled. Magic, she whispered, is everywhere, even here. She pressed a smooth stone into my hand, cool and grounding. Open your heart to the city, she said, and you'll find your magic too. I left that day changed. The city, once cold and imposing, now felt vibrant, alive with possibility. I began to notice the small wonders, a hawk circling a high rise, the scent of rain on hot pavement, the resilience of a flower pushing through a crack in the sidewalk. The city became my teacher, its rhythms a heartbeat, its energy a source of power. I learned to find magic in the everyday, to connect with the earth beneath the concrete and tap into a force greater than myself. Connecting with nature may seem like a challenge in the concrete jungle, but look closer. Find a park, even a tiny one, and feel the grass beneath your feet. Tend a window box overflowing with herbs and flowers. Notice the tenacious weeds pushing through cracks in the pavement. These are reminders of nature's resilience, its ability to thrive even in the most unexpected places. Bring nature indoors. House plants purify the air and bring a sense of tranquility. Crystals formed deep within the earth can be powerful allies. Fire transforms, purifies, ignites passion. Light a candle, its flame a symbol of your inner fire. Water cleanses, flows, carries emotions. Draw a bath, adding salts and herbs for a ritual of purification. Even a simple act of washing your hands can be a mindful practice, visualizing worries and negativity washing away. The city's rhythm is fast-paced, but don't let it extinguish your inner flame. Carve out time for quiet reflection, for connecting with your intuition, for listening to the whispers of your soul. Section 7. City Witchcraft First Spells Start simple. A spell can be as easy as stirring intentions into your morning coffee, visualizing your day unfolding with purpose and positivity. Create a talisman for protection or abundance using found objects like keys, coins, or stones. Draw sigils, magical symbols charged with intention on sticky notes and place them strategically around your living space. Remember magic is about intention and connection. It's about aligning your will with the energies around you to manifest your desires. Keep a journal to document your journey. Write down your spells, your observations, your dreams, your insights. This will become a treasure trove of wisdom and a testament to your growth. Section 8. Finding your coven in the urban jungle. You don't have to walk this path alone. Seek out like-minded individuals, join online forums, attend workshops, visit metaphysical shops. The city, despite its seeming anonymity, is teeming with seekers. Remember, a coven can be as small or as large as you like. It's about finding your tribe, a group of people who support your journey and share your passion for magic. Respect is key, just as you wouldn't want someone barging into your sacred space. Be mindful of others' beliefs and practices. Listen more than you speak and always ask before offering advice. Section 9. Everyday Magic in Unexpected Places Magic is woven into the fabric of the city if you know where to look. Find magic in the rhythm of the subway, the pulse of the crowd, the energy of street performers. Visit museums and art galleries, drawing inspiration from the creativity that surrounds you. Walk with intention, noticing the small details, a feather on the sidewalk, a heart-shaped leaf, a ray of sunlight breaking through the clouds. These are signs, messages from the universe if you choose to see them. The city with its constant motion and change teaches us to adapt, to be resourceful, to find beauty in unexpected places. Section 10. Weaving Enchantment. A journey begins. This is just the beginning, a glimpse into the world of urban witchcraft. Your path will be unique, shaped by your experiences, your environment, your heart's desires. Trust your intuition. It's your inner compass, 
guiding you towards your truth. Don't be afraid to experiment, to make mistakes, to learn and grow. Magic is a journey, not a destination. Embrace the unknown and let the city be your guide. As you deepen your connection with yourself, with the city, and with the unseen forces that surround you, you'll discover that magic is not just about spells and rituals. It's about living with intention, with awareness, with an open heart. It's about finding the extraordinary in the ordinary, the sacred in the mundane, and it's about using your power, the power that resides within you, to create positive change in yourself and in the world.